Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Jim the Sim, and I am back with another video today, and today we are back into The Sims 4, playing Sims 4 Dying Out for the very first time. I'm super excited about this new expansion pack. For a while, I was tossing up whether or not I was actually going to be doing a full Let's Play on this pack or just a review. I didn't really know what I was going to do, but I think I've decided on a mini Let's Play series for this new expansion pack that just came out, Dine Out. Um, so basically, what we have going are just two Sims right here. I will go ahead and introduce you to them right now. Right here, we have Adrian Starks, as you can see. Adrian, if I can find her little stuff. Okay, so Adrian Starks, uh, out. She is outgoing, neat, creative, and gregarious. And I believe her full lifetime goal is to be the leader of the pack. So she wants to have a lot of friends, which I thought would work well with um, our restaurant, just because she needs to get to know our guests, get to know our employees, all that stuff. So I figured I might as well make her want the aspiration of the leader of the pack. Moving on, we do have Joe Fulton right here. Joe is a glutton. He is self-assured. He is hot-headed, and he is gregarious as well. And I guess his same aspiration is to be the leader, leader of the pack as well, which I did not realize. But, um, we are actually living in the town of Oasis Springs. We actually do have a restaurant already, which we will go to in just one moment. But what the backstory of these two Sims and why they are here currently is because Joe's father unfortunately did pass away pretty recently, but they did get an inheritance, and they wanted to do something worthwhile with their inheritance from him. So, what other way to spend it than actually open up a restaurant? So that is the little backstory behind these two Sims. Little do they know they will actually end up together. I just didn't want to make them full-on married from the start. So, they are just friends right now, but, you know, we know that they are going to be a couple and a, a, an exclusive thing in the near future. Once we are able to pull ourselves away from the restaurant a little bit, we will focus on building up their relationship. But as of now, they will remain friends. And we are actually going to go ahead and travel to our new restaurant.
Alright guys, so you should have been able to see the little speed build clip of me building this restaurant. I actually chose the town of Windenburg just because I thought it would be a little bit um, better than Newcrest or Magnolia Promenade. I just felt like choosing Windender Windenburg sorry, because I love this town and yeah. So, here is our little restaurant. I will go ahead and show you it when it's not in full speed so it's nothing special by any means um, it's just a very basic starter type of restaurant as you can see didn't really know what to put in here so cut me some slack guys but basically you walk in through the doors and there's a little waiting area here is the host stand I just realized that I did not paint these walls right now but you know what I'm gonna not even worry about it we'll focus on that later and as you can see, other than that, it's pretty much nothing too special. We have three big booths. Um, we have our little waiter, or no, our chef stand over here. Chef station, I apologize. Chef station over here, a little door to the kitchen. And in the kitchen, we also have our little waiter station as well. And then we do have a very tiny bathroom as well. We do not have a mirror because we're so ghetto. We just did not even feel like putting in a mirror. JK, I forgot, but um, we're not going to do that right now, just because I feel like opening up our restaurant right here, right now, um, and also the name of the restaurant currently is The Summer Home, guys, I did not pick that out, don't blame me for that, if you guys want to leave me a suggestion for what we should actually call this restaurant, please leave me that down below, I will be taking your suggestions for sure, if you guys have anything that I might that might be a good name for this restaurant. Definitely let me know. Let's go ahead and hire our first chef. So um, it looks like we don't have that much of a variety. They all start out at 7 an hour, and they all have the same skill set. So it's basically just who we like the best. Um, let's go ahead and pick Caitlin Flint, just because I like her hat a lot, and her hat is goals. So, Kaylin Flint will be our new chef, our first chef, I should say. Waiter, we should probably look into getting that. Um, let's go ahead and do Judith. Judith, Judith. Yep, let's do Judith. Um, I don't want no um, M&M ass person as our waiter. <laughs> And last but not least, we needed to choose a host. So for our host, it looks like everybody is the same except for this guy right here, Damien Augustine. So we will definitely be hiring Damien Augustine just because he has the highest little thing down here. Uh, he has a high charisma skill as opposed to everybody else, so we will definitely be getting him. And he is the same three simoleons per hour as the rest of them, so why the hell not? Um... So, Joe has hired a new waitress. Judith will arrive for her first shift as soon as possible. Okay, okay. So, we got everybody hired, and now all we need to do is go ahead and open it up, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared, if I'm going to be honest here. But, we are officially opened. It is Monday at 9 a.m. What the hell? This better be sp happening for a reason, because I'm not about to have this whole freaking restaurant. Oh, guys, they cleaned up nice. Okay. So, I did not expect them to be wearing that, but this is definitely what I want them to be wearing. Here is our first, very first customer. Of course, it would be the goth family, none other. Um, so, it looks like we do have them. Um, I guess it's a party of three is what this little thing means up here. I wasted no time starting to play in this pack, guys. I didn't even look at tutorials or anything. So, if I am missing something, I apologize ever so dearly. So it looks as if there is just a party of three, and it looks like they are going to go ahead and sit down over here at this big... Wait. Wait a second. This is not right. Um, so I guess Bella and Mortimer just want to have a date night, and Cassandra is going to sit by herself like the loser person that she is. Of course, the goths suck, as you guys already probably know that. And it looks like Judith is getting her act together she's about to go out there i would hope at least and i'm just gonna have you know um what's this guy's name again i forgot joe sorry joe that's really awkward i should not have forgotten our sims name i'm gonna have joe sit over there for a second and just chill just that he's not in the way of anything and it looks as if judith is doing something um bella's 
moving tables, I guess. I don't know. Bella, make up your freaking mind. Okay, how about that? Um, and then disallow new customers request table. Okay, not bad, not bad. So it looks as if we only have one new customer. Or only these people, basically. The Goths are first and only customers as of now. And we have zero reviews, so I will be interested as to see what it will look like um, once we start getting reviews. Also, I should have mentioned, we definitely do have a lot of space on this lot to expand our restaurant, which I definitely plan on doing. Um, definitely don't plan on it being this small. I left a lot of room just in case we want to, you know, expand the restaurant overall, make an outdoor patio seating area, something like that. I am pretty excited to see what we can do with this restaurant. So I will definitely be having fun with that. It looks like we got some more customers in the door, Moira and Justin. So I don't really know what this three-star thing means. It might mean what they currently think of our restaurant, which is what I would assume it would be, just because I thought it might meant like might have meant what their how many were in their party. But obviously that is not the case um, because they have the same three-star thing over their head. The Goths are Audi, um, and we did, in fact, get some reviews. So how... Can we check that anyway? Um, damn. Everybody's walking through the doors right now. Um, so I don't really know. I'm going to have, actually, Joe just go ahead and clean it up over here. I don't know if we're supposed to have a bus or I don't know if the waiter's supposed to clean up. I have no idea what is happening. Um, Caitlin Flint needs more training to cook everything on the menu well to avoid... <laughs> You're just now telling us that you need more freaking training? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? This has got to be some sick joke. <laughs> I don't know how to train her exactly, so, um, oh, pay for training. I guess, let's just go ahead and pay her for a brief training. Hopefully that does not mean that it's going to be right now, because she does need to be tending. Okay, awesome. So, Caitlin will be going to training, which I am assuming she will be going to training once she is done with her work day here. And then, of course, hopefully she will come back tomorrow bright-eyed and bushy-tailed looking for um, some more meals to cook. I don't know. I really don't know what training is. Hopefully it will just mean that she becomes an overall better chef. And it looks like um, all of these guests right now seem... Well, I spoke too soon. So they, the father and the daughter like it more than the mother does. I guess the mother's just a bit salty, so clean up your act. Wench, don't come back in here with that piss-poor attitude. I'm going to have Joe go over here and actually start cleaning up once again. Since Judith doesn't freaking do anything around here for the restaurant, I will just have to go ahead and clean up after her, I guess. I, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. And these people already hate it. They are down to a two-star rating, which kind of sucks. And I think we actually just pulled their plates right from under them. I don't really know what these little things mean, necessarily. Um, let me see. I saw them a little while ago. Okay, ambiance. Okay, so everybody likes the ambiance, actually. So that's pretty good. I mean, I try. Just kidding. I, like, literally threw this whole restaurant together within, like, ten minutes. So it really does suck. But I guess um, some of the people at least can appreciate the current ambiance we are going for. Um, I mean, view shift summary, okay. And it's getting pretty late, but it seems to be have it seems to be picking up a little bit actually. So that's kind of surprising. Don't know what this guy's little what's it. What's Mahoo's is? I don't know why he has that little white band across the star. It is beyond me. And it looks as if we click this, we can actually see what people are saying about us, which is awesome. Um, so everybody is neutral right now. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I don't know exactly when we want to close for the night, but I think we might be closing around 9-ish, I would say. I don't know. We're kind of getting a lot of people in here right now, which kind of sucks that we're picking up so late in the day. But, I mean, I guess it's better than having nobody in here, I guess. I don't know. 
Hopefully these people don't take forever. This guy over here seems to be liking it a lot, which is very, very good. This old hag over here is getting on my last nerve. Oh, so it has great prices, but you're still going to give us a two-star. Thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and have Joe clean up this table, since apparently we are the only person in this freaking restaurant who is capable of bussing a table. But I'm not salty. <laughs> Um, no, we're gonna go ahead and clean that up, and it seems like more people are getting sat down, which is awesome, which is very, very awesome. And now we just wait on these other... Okay, Caitlyn is getting tired from working so long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shut down, I guess, in half an hour, which would be 9 p.m., I mean, that's a pretty decent work day. I think we opened at 10 a.m. this morning. So if you ask me, it's a pretty good lengthy work day for all of our customers. We are at, currently at a two-star rating, which is better than what we, were, what we were at this morning. I think we opened with a one-star because obviously we did not have any reviews at that time. Ooh, four-star review. The cheerful staff went the extra mile. Hang on. Let me go ahead and clean up this table before I have him, before I read this. Okay, so, the cheerful staff, I recommend putting your trust in the chef and ordering the chef's choice. Dying here to experience what quality service should be awesome. And these two girls right here liked it enough to give us a four star as well, which is great. That is awesome. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Um, it looks like we have a three star review, so that's pretty solid if you ask me. Um, the only thing is all the servers seem to be getting, or all the, all of the staff is getting pretty tired, so I'm just going to go ahead and shut down for the day. It looks like our net profit, is, net profit was 189 simoleons, which is not bad. It's better than even, it's better than not, like, I, I can't talk today, I apologize. That is better than losing money, which is always, you always run the risk of losing money in a work day. So I'm super glad that we did indeed have a net profit. And now let's go, oh, we were open for 12 hours. So that is a pretty freaking long work day, if you ask me. Everybody's out the door, and we are as well. I'm going to have Joe and Adrian actually head home for the night, you know, take it take it easy for the night because we did have a super long work day and once we get fully rested we are just going to come back tomorrow morning and do the same thing all over again i don't really plan on opening at a set time and closing at a set time each day it's kind of just whatever we feel so i will go ahead and cut to when we get back home Alrighty guys, so we have made it back home for the night. I'm just going to have both of them go ahead and hit the sack, I guess. I really don't know what else we could do. They are both pretty hungry, so I guess we could work on that. But I'm just going to have them go ahead and sleep now so that we don't screw up our sleeping schedule too terribly and that we're actually going to bed at a certain um, reasonable time and waking up at a certain reasonable time. But I'm actually going to have them go ahead and grab a bite to eat once they both wake up for the day. Um, Adrian actually isn't that too, isn't that hungry. So once she is woken up, I'm going to have her go ahead and take a shower just like he is doing right now. And then once he is done eating and she is done showering, we will of course head back out to our restaurant, aka the summer home. I really hope that I think of a new name because that kind of sucks real bad and I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed to even have a restaurant called The Summer Home. I mean, I, summer is right around the corner, so I guess it kind of does. It makes sense, but of course it does sound really stupid at the same time. So, you know, don't ask me. But I'm actually going to have them both go ahead and... No, we are not doing the freaking welcome wagon. Everybody... Take a hike. We do not... No, you're not wanted here. We are trying to open up a freaking restaurant, and you are here trying to welcome us to the freaking neighborhood. Peace out. Bye. You know, I don't want to even waste my time with that garbage. But, um, nonetheless, we are going to go ahead and head out to our restaurant for the day. And hopefully today goes as well as yesterday did. Hopefully Caitlin comes back with some training. 
I'm assuming she did, considering she said once she is off next, she will definitely hit that training sesh up. And, of course, we did pay for it, so she better not waste any freaking time, or else we will have to have a one-on-one -on -one with that broad. But that's besides the point. I'm going to have him go ahead and take a leak, I guess. Um, and then, once we actually open up, which I will go ahead and have happen now, why isn't it functional? No. Also, ma and make sure that it has been set what freaking menu? I didn't know that. I didn't know that we were supposed to make a freaking menu when that's news to me. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's awkward. Open back up. So apparently it's not functional, but we're still opened. Uh, that does not make sense whatsoever. Oh, we have to make our menu. Okay, so I do want something in addition to just water. Don't get me wrong. Water is great. But I do think that we should have something like, let's do some wine. Let's do one thing of wine, and then for the kids, let's do some fruit punch. Okay, because you got to look out for the kids all the time. You know, kids are a large portion of what we are selling to. I'm going to have cereal go on the menu. Let's do some mac and cheese, and let's go ahead and do... Um... Let's do a salad, just because I feel like you can never go wrong with a salad. And then we will do, for our main course, let's go ahead and do some grilled cheese. Let's do a veggie burger. And let's do some spaghetti. Um, and then let's do some pepperoni pizza. I feel like that's a pretty solid menu, if you ask me. And then for dessert, let's do some banana yogurt a banana yogurt cone, chocolate ice cream cone, and then let's do some haunted mint ice cream as well. And that should conclude our menu. So um, let's actually have her go ahead and request a table because she is pretty hungry right now. Um, why won't it let her do that? Oh, okay, let's go ahead and request, re request, no, let's go ahead and request this table right here, and then we should be sat, and then we should order, because she is pretty hungry, and it actually looks like it's time for me to wrap up this Let's Play part, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this first part of our Let's Play the Sims 4 Dine Out expansion pack. Um, I am super excited for this pack, do not get me wrong. I'm super glad that it's finally here, and I'm super excited to see what all we can do in this pack. So, as I said already, I hope that you guys enjoyed this first Let's Play series part. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you have any name suggestions for our restaurant, please leave those down below in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.